Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today's gonna be a completely different video. We're gonna be going over my entire gaming setup. So I'm gonna show you guys what I use and I'll kind of give you guys an idea of some of the weird things that uh, you guys normally don't get to see. So let's go ahead and put this green screen down and let's go ahead and hop right into it. All right, so now that the giant green screen is out of the way, uh, let me go and show you guys kind of the other things that you guys might not see behind the scenes as well as like the tripods. And if you guys wanna know the exact equipment that I use, I'll have that all pinned down below in the uh, description box as well as in the pinned comment. It's basically just all of my stuff via uh, Amazon affiliate links. All right, so most of you guys are familiar with what you guys see normally in the background, but on the other side over here, this is where I have a TV, uh, some of my gaming consoles, as well as some other just things, and I'll go ahead and show you guys. So first off, this is an arcade. Uh, I did live stream uh, with it before. It's got like thousands and thousands of games on it. It's actually got tons of emulators. It runs up to Dreamcast. It's got clicky uh, little fight sticks over here, and I can actually download things online. It actually has a built-in like thing to torrent. Not that I ever torrent games that I don't own, over here we have my Wii, I got some figures over here, shout outs to Beast Wars, one of my favorite animes, uh, other just figures, Tiro from Diablo, there's actually a Wii back there, I actually like that for Guitar Hero, some Yu-Gi-Oh stuff over here, I'll show you guys some of the Yu-Gi-Oh recording stuff because that's actually a little bit different, maybe a little bit more interesting for some of you guys uh, that are interested in being content creators as well, and then over here I have a Nintendo Switch, uh, I have one here and then there's a different one in the back that lets me run emulated games, it's just basically modded, um, then down here I have 360, I still play it occasionally for the Kinect games uh, just to you know get a good workout, um, then I have all my cords for all the consoles are basically hidden back here behind this burn book over here. And then what I use uh, to actually get some thumbnails as well as just things for TikToks. Because even though TikTok has a built-in green screen feature, I like actually using this because it makes it a little bit better. This is the Elgato uh, green screen that you can like slide out. Really like it, 10 out of 10. I'll actually give you guys a rating on some of these things that I have just because I know some people are thinking about getting things when they see other streamers that have it. And I'll have, again, all that linked down below. Other things over here. Um, we got the dual disc, I got a Fortnite uh, prop over there, so just some props. There's actually a really cool Metal Gear Rising Revengeance uh, Collector's Edition. It has like lightning that goes through it. All right, so I decided to plug it in. I love this game. It's like one of my favorite games of all time, but you guys can see it. It's got like basically this like, it's supposed to be like right in store and all the lightning. And it's really cool if you touch it, it like follows you. It's an awesome thing kind of cool stuff and then we have of course just like the background that you guys are more familiar with which just has like the like and subscribe but did you guys know behind this we got a, a diamond 1911 with a uh, username on it pretty cool stuff indeed as well all right guys so now let's get into the actual like pc setup and everything that i run and i'll give you guys kind of like a overview and a rating on some of these products because when i watch someone else like open up stuff or do unboxings and stuff i want to know like what they liked and what they didn't like this stuff i can definitely tell you what i don't like with it and what i do like with it because this is the actual stuff that i use every single day so let's go and hop into like my pc as well as uh, you know all the peripherals that i actually use all right so here's my specs for my pc obviously the things that people really care about is the CPU and really the graphics card. That's basically what most people want to see. But on top of that, I'll go over like every other little thing over here. But I mainly want to go over the peripherals and everything that I use. And I also have um, in the uh, pin comment and the description box all of the exact names because I know some people are really technical with that stuff. And I'll show you guys exactly what I use. And I'll also give you guys a rating on the things that I use as a daily use. So first off, we were actually just working on a YouTube video. I need to get a thumbnail. So we used a, a Gundam like box art. So some of the things that I use on a daily basis. So uh, important things. So first off, the mouse and keyboard. So we have the Razer Huntsman Mini. Uh, this is a really fantastic keyboard. Uh, here are some like sounds with it because I know some people like to hear the sounds. I really like this keyboard. It's really great. I don't have really any complaints with it. If you guys are wondering, I always remove the Windows keys from my keyboards. It's a, it's a gamer thing. I always do it for positioning on hands, I like it as well. Um, really nothing that I don't like about this uh, keyboard at all. Like if I was to rate this keyboard, I would give it a 10 out of 10. I, I do wish it has arrow keys though, but I can solve that with the Elgato Stream Deck because I can go over here and then now I have my up, down, left, right keys. You can hold function for it, but it's kind of awkward because you have to hold function and then now you have the keys. Um, as far as my setup goes, you'll notice there is no RGB on. I turn off all RGBs, but I, I turned it on so you guys can see the, my mouse over here because otherwise you guys couldn't see all 
about buttons, um, but I will disable it. In fact, all my RGB is always turned off. I'm not an RGB kind of a guy um, when it comes to peripherals. But first off, uh, I use the G600 uh, for the, my mouse, and for this mouse, I'd actually give it an eight out of 10. The reason why is because over here, when you actually go down, like make sure you guys a bird's eye view of it. So because there's an angle cut right here for aesthetics, I wish they just rounded it off. Because they do this, if you pull down too fast, the mouse actually rises, and I dislike that a lot. That's the only thing I don't really like with this mouse. Wish I had another little hump over here for your pinky. So like, you have your, your index finger, your middle finger, and then your ring finger over here. But if they give you an extra one for the pinky, that'd be another bonus. And so Logitech, if you're watching this, add that, and you have literally the best mouse ever. Write that down, write that down! <laughs> So yeah, eight out of 10 on the mouse for those reasons. As far as the mouse pad goes, some of you guys are seeing it, gotta keep it family friendly over here. So I'm using this wrist rest to kind of block things. Yeah. Originally I got this because one, uh, bell lifting stuff is like collector's kind of stuff and it sells out really fast. And I wanted to use it in the background of some of my videos for TikToks. Unfortunately, the uh, imagery is, I guess, too spicy for TikTok, even though it doesn't really show anything. I'll keep it family friendly because you know, we're always family friendly on this channel too. Chapter five. Yeah, so uh, this mouse a pad was kind of expensive. It was 50 bucks. It's sold out now. It's kind of more a collector's item. But you can see over here, like the color is rubbing off. And I didn't even I don't even use my mouse right here. This is where my mouse goes over here. So this area wasn't even used for that. It's just that it from the printing quality, especially. <laughs> yeah, boy. On a very expensive collector's item, I wish they did a better job of it. So with this mouse pad being as expensive as it is, is I, I would say if I was to give it a rating out of 10, I love the artwork. The artwork is 10 out of 10. Spicy. I love it. As far as like the stitching quality, it's like 10 out of 10. But like the quality of the print is like five out of 10. I, I just couldn't recommend this mouse pad specifically because I mean, it, it's the color peeling. Like it, it just came that way. Uh, like I said, but I, I can't take it back because it was sold out. So yeah, unfortunate, but yeah, that, that did happen. Next up over here, uh, this is my phone. I'm not gonna rate my phone here, but I use an S10. I like it, it's a nice phone. This is actually a really nice uh, phone rest. Um, if you guys are wondering what this uh, anime is, it's from No Game No Life. But yeah, it's a nice little uh, phone holder. I charge my phone uh, with it, it's no big deal. But 11 out of 10 because it's just really aesthetically pleasing. Hey, yo, what the Over here, uh, this is the Elgato Stream Deck. I would give this 11 out of 10. One of the best things, and the reason why I'm giving it 11 out of 10, they always are updating it. They're giving us new features. You can download things. It does more than I originally wanted it to. But like I use it, like I said, for using it for the arrow keys, but I can record, mute my mic. And speaking of mics, I actually use double mics. Over here, like I can mute and do whatever. This is like the, one of the best tools though. It lets me just create content so much easier without like, you know, actually having to edit. But over here, uh, we have my microphones and as well as my camera. This is the exact same camera that you guys are seeing. I have two of them. It's a Sony RX100. It has a little flip out screen. Love it for that. But this over here is a Blue Yeti. It's a THX certified one. And then we have the uh, Shure NB7 for the microphone. And then we have a blue stand. I'm blue, this microphone was great for its time. I mean, I would probably give it like a seven or eight out of 10 because I use this for years. I love it. It's specifically the THX one because of the way that the button works. It does some other things, but basically it's very similar to the regular Yeti. This microphone over here, I love it. It's way better. It's basically twice the price, but it's it's really good. And then I have the blue arm over here. The blue arm, I give it like a seven out of 10. This is also a blue shock mount. The shock mount, I give it like a nine out of 10. I just don't like how the quality of some of the things feel when you're twisting it. But overall, it, it doesn't really matter that much that's why i give it a 9 10. the reason why i give the arm 7 out of 10 aesthetically yes it looks absolutely amazing over here and i love it for its looks which is basically why i got it uh but the thing is is it doesn't even work with its own like peripheral like i know i'm not using the yeti but if i use the yeti and hold the yeti up with this it drags down the weight is just too heavy for this and it didn't meet the specifications it's just like this is its own product this is its own product i know this one isn't but this is lighter than the yeti and it still droops down that's why you see that there is a uh this is a dragon lily pad uh, was a pop filter and I like it that, that I give it 10 out of 10 it was like 10 bucks it was pretty cheap uh, but I like it it does its job got a nice little um King of Fighters uh, accessory on the back over there, you see it? Hello. Oh, there you go, that's my, but a d different uh, custom work on, that's a TB League Fice and something like that. It's a very flexible figure in the back. Bendy, bendy, bendy. <laughs> oh no. And then we got some extra uh, characters in the background and shout out to Master Chief over there. As far as other things that I use over here, this is the wrist rest posted again in the pin comment uh, and description box for like all the stuff that I use, just in case you guys want to see what I use. It is a uh, Amazon affiliate link, so I, I do get a kickback from it. So if you guys do use it, awesome. Um, but I'm not like sponsored or paid to make this video. These are the things that I actually do use daily. Um, but I did get this for free and I got like a BenQ thing for free and I will show you guys all the things and I'll tell you guys what I got for free. But I did get this 
this for free. This was from HyperX. It was a wrist rest. I like it a lot. I can confidently say this is my favorite wrist rest as I did buy like tons of wrist rests. And this one I like it because it actually keeps your like thing cool. Um, it's kind of it's kind of gotten a little bit dirty because you know you, you sweat and it dries up no problem wipe it down later but uh nonetheless i like this wrist rest a lot it's a little bit longer than i would like but like that's fine it's better than it's longer than it being too short right but i wish they made like a condensed version because all i want it for is this so i usually have to push this to the side so i have enough room for my mouse on the right but nonetheless i like it really great wrist rest 10 out of 10 can highly recommend it uh no real problems with the wrist rest uh as far as that goes now moving on to other like recording and other like equipment that i use Let's go ahead and hop into that. Oh, but first I'm gonna give a review my camera because I told you guys I review like most of the things that I use. I give the camera like a seven or eight out of 10. The only thing I really dislike with this camera, like it has this nice little flip out screen uh, that you can flip out so you can basically do selfies with it. But I, you know, if I'm using vlogs or something, but if, for whatever reason, it cuts these files. Like once it reaches like, I don't know, like 10 minutes, it cuts the files into two. I just want one file. That's all I want. All right, so over here we got some extra props. So I've got like my Ouija board that we use for the live stream. It's just kind of just a fun thing. Also used it for like a, a prank video um then we get just more little accessories and things that i use in like the stream just a little bunch of like stuff on the right side of the desk this is the light that i was using i had this it's called a boogie board i like it i give this a 10 out of 10 too uh, what i do is i can write with it you can use like your nail or you can just use a little pen uh, I, I like to jot down notes of like timestamps when i stream and then i can like, basically go over it later uh, these are the headphones i usually use uh, i'll go over some other headphones because i have some other ones but i just like these i got these for free when i got my iphone 5c i still like it they're still like holding up i use them every day this i got at a yard sale this was cool i didn't even know what it was at first but i was like checking this out and it's just something i actually play with it's a, a lighter it's really cool i don't really use it for anything other than I, I just i just like flipping it up and then turn it on and it's like charged via usb i got this no joke for 25 cents it was just too cool all right so moving on uh, over here i mean you'll see like guitar here these are some other headphones that i use these are the a uh, astro a40 tournament editions i actually don't use them other than maybe for like tiktoks uh but over in the back over here you can see guitar hero controllers and i got my connect and just a bunch of other stuff but what it really comes down to that's cool over here well we got some pmc's over here i, mean, I live in california so we have strict rules on like what we can have uh, these are totally toys youtube so i don't age restrict this video anyway Anyways, uh, another mouse pad over here. Uh, these are just for my secondary PC that I use, usually just for background stuff. Uh, but anyways, this over here uh, is actually really cool. So I actually made this myself. So what this is, is actually a desk lamp that's like one of those ones where it's spring-loaded. Uh, this is so old, you can even see the rust on it. But uh, nonetheless, I can attach my uh, camera over here, which is really cool, and that lets me be on arm. That way I can have a desk, and usually I put this on a foldable desk that I bring out when I wanna record stuff on it. And what we do is, we put this on and then we can adjust it and I had this BenQ light bar uh, BenQ hooked me up with this for free so a big shout out to BenQ for this and so what it should be used for is actually for your computer but what I actually use it for which is really awesome is recording content that I need like a bird's eye view like you know going down and that's great for Yu-Gi-Oh pack openings or if I'm trying to show off like a peripheral what I use it for is just it's just a light and it works perfect because it's on this it's really annoying because I used to use a light and I used to have to like hold it on the side and actually balance it on things and it was really annoying but this light bar look at this it's like so perfect because it's supposed to be attached to a monitor and this is it's flat and so the light goes straight down i can adjust it and change the temperatures which is really cool too but uh this you know thank you benq because like it's a weird like sort of light you know you can get other like lights like for example this is a, a ring light that I use. Uh, this one, it's really just like a cheap one, but I liked it because it had this little thing where you can put your uh, phone, but like the quality of it, it's, it, I, I wouldn't even recommend, I'm not even gonna link it because it's just, it's not something where I feel like I'm confident with and I could like say, hey guys, check this out. Check this out. This is another little microphone that I use for TikTok. It's just like a really cheap mic though, but I do use it sometimes to hold, but I don't actually use it to talk into. Sometimes I have interesting props, like just holding this makes a video more interesting because people are like, whoa, look at that tiny microphone, right? So I use it literally just for that. Um, this is a tripod. I really like it because it has this thing that you can swivel, like a, let's look at a ball joint. And if I want to, I can turn it into a monopod. And this thing I actually do really like. So this is the Joel Can H80. Really great stuff as well. It would give this uh, tripod, 10 out of 10. Can highly recommend it. The microphone is like, is like two out of 10, but it was like, I don't know, like five or 10 bucks. I don't know, for the money, it's probably like an eight out of 10, but I literally just want it for like interesting things to use in videos. And then I have this little like thing that I can attach my phone to because I record TikToks, YouTube shorts and stuff like that. And then for my other tripod, I use this one over here. This is a uh, 
Joby Gorilla Pod. I really like this. This one's actually pretty pricey. Like, I would give it a 10 out of 10, but for the price, eh, it's kind of expensive. But, like, it does its job, so I give it a 10. Like I said, sometimes things, I gotta grade it by the price. It, it is, like, beefy, and you can attach it to, like, different things. And I do use this on a daily basis, too. So, this one, I, it doesn't have any numbers, though. So, I'm sorry. Can't tell you the exact model number, but, yeah. So, Joby Gorilla Pod, that helps. This is also something that I uh, got. It's the exact same little, like, attachment for my other one. This was, like, 10 bucks. I don't remember the brand, but I'll link it down below if I remember. All right. Also, one thing that I forgot. The Bose Multimedia Companion 5. I love this whole setup with the speakers. You guys can't see the speakers because they're, like, tucked in the back. In fact, the PC is actually through the wall. All right. So, all the cords actually go through here. And, uh, yeah, here's the other PC and uh, all the other consoles and more uh, plugs. Uh, but I like these. These are really cool. It just lets me plug in my headphones and stuff. And it's, it's got these little, like, um, arrows on it. Like, these are I actually cut out my Myself, uh, just because there's no way to determine like the volume level so this really helps out this is exactly like where I want it uh, this I would basically give it it's such a small thing but like honestly like the quality is like 10 out of 10 it's just I have no way to determine the audio levels like if this wasn't here it's just a dial that goes like this is as far as it goes up and this is as far as it goes down but I'd like it like right here um, so I was able to do that real easy by just cutting out some stuff but if they can add that as a 10 out of 10 as well really small stuff and over here I have an ottoman if I open it up I've got a bunch of my games and stuff in here uh we won't go through it in this video but let me know guys if you guys want to see it in the comment section below if you guys want to see me like show off all my video games a lot of them i just own digitally but like i have a decent stack of like really cool games you can see mega man we got deal away we got diablo 2 boxed but uh yeah we got some Yu-Gi-Oh mats here sometimes i uh, record things by just uh using these mats and i really like it uh 10 out of 10 on this ottoman too it's a it's a nice carbon fiber one i got this over at like walmart and i, I love this thing man it looks really cool it's not the most comfortable to sit on no, but yeah, I think it was like really cheap. So that's uh, some of my games. So also on this desk, I have uh, some candy. I have a little like candy basket. And then uh, this is what I use for unboxing. Speaking of like knives and stuff. Now, if I were to show you guys all of them, this would probably take up like half an hour. So here's the katana that I usually use to do like the little katana flip when you guys sub over on live stream. There's two more over here. Uh, the, one of them is Genji Sword. The other one is like similar one. It's just like it's just a plain black. But yeah, the, the other one, the Genji one, is, is like full metal as well. And then corner by the door, I got this is Virgil's from Devil May Cry. Although it's a little bit like bootleg. I'm, I'm a bit like whoever copied it did a pretty good job. And this one is just another green one. It's just got this cool like zombie blood on it. It's a little toxic. I like this one as well. Okay, so monitors. These are actually two different monitors. Actually, these are these are all BenQ monitors. But this is the BenQ XL. 2420G. So it's one of the first like G-Sync monitors. If you are to purchase this one, it's going to be way more than it's worth because it's just kind of like outdated and people are just selling boxed up as like kind of not necessarily collector's items, but like more rare items. Uh, but you can see the whites are definitely calibrated differently because this one is actually one of the newer uh, BenQ monitors that has the DIAC. So this one over here is actually going to be the BenQ Zowie XL 25460K. This one is a 240 hertz monitor. This one's 144, but I really do like both of these monitors. In fact, I have two of these. There's another like BenQ monitor over here, but um, this one, I like it a little bit more. The fact that it has two USB ports on the side, this one doesn't have it, but I do really like how this one over here, all the buttons, you guys can't see them, but like I actually have to reach in the back and there's an analog stick if I want to go change like all my settings. I can like go change all my settings via the back and there's just nothing on the front. They don't even have like their logo in the front, which I actually really like. It looks really clean. So in terms of like what I would rate these, I mean, I haven't had any problems with any BenQ monitors. They're actually like my preferred choice of like company for monitors. Uh, I really wish this one had USB ports. I understand this just to be like, like pro gamer and nothing but the game. That's what they're focusing in on. So I get it, but like I really do miss the USB ports because I used to have two of these hooked up where I would have another set of like more USB ports. So I like it for that, how to get a USB hub. Is it that big of a deal? Not really. I mean, they're not advertising that it has USB ports, but I, I give this one a 10 out of 10. I wish this one had USB ports. So this one over here gets a nine out of 10, not because of anything other than like, why wouldn't you include the USB ports on the monitor that's like the, the premium end one? I get it though. Again, it's supposed to be like aesthetically, like it's really, really clean and that's the reason why. But I wish I had USB ports, but those are the two monitors that I mainly use. The third one over here, you guys are wondering why uh, this one's here. The other monitor is just for console. That's why it's like off. So I, when I play my PlayStation or Xbox or whatever, it just goes through that monitor. Then I like shoot it over to another monitor to record it. But yeah, those are my monitors. All right, guys, and I saved the best for last. This is what I keep under my desk. This is one of like my prized possessions. This is the FPG or the FMG or the Aries. Uh, this is actually one of my favorite things. This is very, 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 very difficult to get. So uh, if you guys don't know what it is, it's from Modern Warfare 3. Uh, 
it just folds out. FPG, the folding pocket gun, folding machine gun, and uh, yeah, it's one of my prized possessions. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like on it. And if you're new here and want to see more of my videos, hit subscribe and you'll definitely see more. I take care. I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm out. Peace.